contributes to our family atmosphere. I feel like you know, we got closer. And we, you know, everybody's reaching out to DJ right now, seeing how he's doing, and, and let him know that, that we, we respect his decision, that we love him, whatever he does. Yeah, I'll just have to agree with Kev. You know, you got to do his best for you sometimes. And that's that's a serious thing that a lot of people go through. And to do that is kind of show his bravery and his courage to do. So like Kay said, we just came closer together and support him. And then we just play for our brothers, and that's what we did today. To, to replace what he brings you guys, and say you guys can just spread the ball, share the ball, throw the ball. <coughs> Offensively, what did you have to do to compensate for Kind of like you said, you know, just create for others. I mean, DJ brings a lot to the table. He can get to the basket, create his own shot and others. So we just try to figure out another way where everybody else, you know, can step up and do that. Dwayne had a lot of good plays that he had today. I tried to create myself. Caleb had a lot of great plays today, too. So we just had to figure out another way. We just had to step up. Nobody wants this kind of adversity, but um, when you speak to, um, can it focus you? And it's not a benefit, but I'm just saying, can it focus you? Do you feel like it focused you today? I wouldn't say it focused us, you know, we look at every kid and say, you know, we set the games on our schedule, but um, like you said, it does take some extra losing somebody, especially with BJ and, and him being a big issue here on our team, you know, losing something like that hurts, but like, like CJ and he said, you know, our family and how tight we got, I feel like it's really good show. It looked like you guys were more purposeful early getting it inside, yet the uh, box score at the end, you're almost half your shots came from three point range. Should I read anything into that being a strategy for what you're going to do from this point on, or did you guys recommit to anything uh, here lately that would reflect <coughs> the show today where almost half the shots were three? Uh, it was just how the game flows. I mean, we're, I mean, we're kind of hitting shots. Justin got high in the second half. Um, we were just making shots. I mean, that's just how the game flows. Um, of course, we try to go through the plane for Kevin to make plays, whether he's scoring or passing the ball, you know, just create opportunities and create gaps for everybody else to get off. Um, you know, it's just the flow of the game, and that's just what it was today. We were just making shots. Both you guys talked with Coach a lot before the season about finding ways to get the ball into the paint like that. But besides getting into the paint, besides getting paint touches and spraying or, or lunches, whatever, whatever it might be, the last few games, do you feel like you've found some more ways to do that? It seems like you're getting a lot of drive and uh, yeah, I can agree. I feel like we found multiple ways, whether it's running the set, whether getting on the transition, you know, attacking gaps, making other people help to make those passes, spreading the floor out, and things like that. So, I mean, we've got to find ways, and I think we're trying to we're finding it now. And then uh, Justin's obviously played well the last two games. Just what does he bring you guys when you are able to create offense like that? No more shooting. You know, you can't leave Justin. You know, he's going to kill you. you know, that's, that's what he did today. He had shots for us, and that was big. Uh, Caleb, you, you guys held them to zero second chance points. How important was that, and how much of a focus was that? Um, like I said, you know, we don't really circle anything, but you know, we saw that they had some size, and, and that we, we had to hit the boards. You know, we had some, something we pride ourselves on, and being Kyle and our, and our boards. You know, we try to get as many rebounds as we can and be a tougher team. So that's what we tried to do today. CJ, obviously, we don't know how long till till DJ's back with you guys, but. 35 minutes tonight, I think that's a career high for you. Can you sustain that type of play while he's out, or, or are you guys going to need to figure out a, a second segment of play? Uh, I believe in myself. I, I feel like I can do that. I feel like I can play at a high level for that long. My teammates believe in me. Um, you know, just attacking the day of practice, just going hard in practice, I feel like that'll help me in the game. Uh, so I almost definitely feel like I'll be able to sustain and, you know, be able to make the right plays and play at a high level for us to win. And not to take anything away from the Northwestern win, obviously any Big Ten wins are a solid win, but a team that already beat you this year, a team that's higher up in the standings, did you guys need this win? Did it did it feel like they were starting to find some things? Um, like we, we've been circling, but every, every like you said, every win in the Ten is, is a big win. You know, you can't take anybody lightly, and like you said, they did beat us, and you got the bigger. So you, you feel like you played with a little more confidence today, so like you're in uh, I would say like a lot more confidence. But, I mean, it was just a Florida game. I was able to make shots pretty early when I made the three. You know, that just kind of gives you a different flow going out throughout the game. Um, and they were helping a lot of my teammates, so I was able to try to create things like that. So it just kind of opened up for me. And I just kind of took what the defense gave me today. CJ, with, with DJ not being here, obviously you're the most proven point guard on the roster. You point Does that change anything for you, knowing that you're not going to be necessarily splitting time with a guy like that, that you're the, you're the point guard right now? Does that change anything? Uh, not really. My coach staff will put me in the right situation at the right time. My teammates believe in me 100. percent So it is. It's not not really anything that's going to change my mentality. Or anything, you know. You know, I'm, I'm kind of I'm ready for this. Um, once he told us, I had to you know change my mentality. Know what I had to do. Just carry a little more weight on my shoulders. I mean, I, I feel like I'm ready for it. I'm just going to continue to do what I do. 
and made the right place for us. Kill you know, a mid-range jumper, sort of like a fadeaway, and they ran a uh, like they ran a play for you to get a three. Uh, where is your shot right now compared to maybe what you thought you might get at this point in the season? It seems like they're doing a little bit more trying to get you some shots. Um, like I like you said, you know, our coaches put me in spots to get the ball and get my shots off. And, um, my teammates are finding me. You know, I feel like I'm just that contributes to my work. You know, my teammates believe. So you think the ball really moved the last two games? What uh, is that more of uh, Caleb not being the main man out the top most of the time, or what were the reasons for that? Um, I just feel like we just started getting back to our old ways when we were we had our little adversity. We weren't moving the ball, kind of stuck a lot. So I just figured out, figured when we're going back to our old ways, everybody's being unselfish, everybody's believing in each other. I mean, Caleb's always going to be the main man, but everybody's just stepping up in their own ways. Right now. Probably one of the last time you guys played as a team, you guys had 16 turnovers. Turnovers have been a common theme this season. Today, you only got 10 points. Just emphasizing the practice. Turn the ball over and you know, create more <coughs> offense for us to you know, at least get a shot at the creative offensive rebound instead of a turnover for the other team. So just kind of emphasize that practice. And I feel like we took it to the chest and, or to the chin and we just executed today. Thanks, guys.